What's up everybody? I got three very special nickels here that I would like to share with y'all. Not special in the terms of like key date or anything like that, but more or less history. And I would really like to uh, go over some of it with y'all. Here, the first one, we have the design by Charles Barber. He created this design in 1883. It was the Barber design. This right here is a Liberty V nickel. 1908 we got the V right there absolutely amazing and uh, the story is really more amazing my one friend found um, a cache of coins in an abandoned house that he and his boss were tearing down at the time and uh, yes ended up finding this beautiful Liberty V nickel along with a lot of other 63 and 64 nickels and uh yeah he gave this to me to have in my collection honestly because he knows that i love coins <laughs> but it's just kind of fascinating to me the history of all these coins and everything because you know it just goes from one simple design to being the most absolutely amazing uh, I would say more historically taken back design that just goes on for generations and generations coin wise. It's kind of amazing to me, you know, how that's even possible in the first place, how somebody can just write up a design and really end up being so coveted for hundreds and hundreds of years. You know, these engravers really have a job that like sticks around. Because their work sticks around for hundreds and hundreds of years and their designs. And it's really art. Like it's essentially artwork. Next, we have a buffalo nickel. This would be a 1936 buffalo. Probably my nicest buffalo that I have right now. It's still got some of its original shine and details on the face. A lot of nice details on the face. It's not the three-legged one. There's a three-legged buffalo. It's a nice error to get. They made these from 1913 to 1938. This is two years before they stopped making them. And uh, it went on to be one of the most iconic designs in history. And I mean, this Indian guy, you can see this being sold in so many different forms right now, um, all over the world, all over the world. But essentially this design, I mean, I don't know if it was completely ripped off of um, culture or whatever, and that's why it's so coveted. But to me, that design passed on in so many different designs, uh, even past coins. Like you can see this Indian head being sold in so many different uh so many different, like for instance, on the one baseball uniform, they have this Indian head as, uh, I believe it'll be the Indians, yeah? They got the Indian head as their mascot, essentially, I believe. And yeah, it's kind of amazing to me. The designer of this coin is James Earl Fraser, as part of a drive to beautify the coinage. So essentially, they wanted to make a prettier coin and I'd say they succeeded. I'd say they succeeded. Because the barber coin, they were trying to upgrade the barber coin. And uh, yeah, I'd say they succeeded with something different. This is definitely different looking than the barber. But yeah, I think it's just fascinating how eventually a design needs to be buried and a new one needs to be born. But it always happens. And our coins will take a dra drastic turn in the future too. And eventually, even the Jefferson nickel. They're still making the Jefferson. But eventually, this is going to get a redo. I wonder who's going to be on the new one. I really do. Here we have a 1993 Denver Jefferson. And, uh, yeah. This is the current design that we still have to this day. And uh, personally, it's one of the most well-known coins ever in existence. 
this design with the Monticello building. Definitely will be remembered forever, just like the Buffalo and just like the Barber. It's just fascinating to me how the designs like change and how each coin is accepted, usually. I bet you there's times in the past where uh, the coins weren't accepted and people just didn't like the design for one reason or the other or say, I know they've canceled denominations in the past because they said people didn't like hauling around like half dollars, for instance. They initially stopped making half dollars because they said it was just like bulky in people's pockets and uh, probably the original silver dollar too because they were really, you know, they were much bigger than these coins here. So if you had like four or five silver dollars in your pocket, you really felt it. You really felt that. I just think it's fascinating and I wanted to go over just the history of the design of, of the nickel and uh, how it's really came so far. I mean, from this design to this design, which I personally think is my favorite, the Buffalo. And uh, then we got the Jefferson. So what will be next? Who do you think they will put on the next nickel? I'm curious to see in the comments below. Peace out, y'all.